Marriage is a decision, or love is a decision, and where your will goes, your feelings will follow. I learned that from my husband. I always tell my girlfriends, love is a choice. When you get married, it's a commitment that you make to another person. Our family has been farming here on the Palouse for well over a hundred years, and these structures are symbolic of the values and the hard work that drive our roots deep into the Palouse soil. So this area is kind of known for its particular variety of wheat, which is soft white winter wheat and soft white spring wheat. And the peas and lentils, historically, were a big part of the Palouse. And now, it's all about garbanzo beans. This is the area where they were developed, and we still grow almost 30% of the United States production right here. A young lady came to us who had been at an event at our place several years prior and she brought her fiance and said it has always been my dream to get married in your barn is that possible and that's how it all began there are so many special things about this place primarily the location uh, it's very rural it's very private it's very quiet um, it's beautiful with the farm ground around it and it, frankly you can't get much better than this on the blues What's unique about the barn is that it's an indoor-outdoor venue, so you can have some people inside and you can have some people outside. Typically what we'd like to see as a max is about 400, but we really don't have a max capacity for events if it's in the summertime or in nice weather. If it's in the wintertime, then our probably max capacity is about 300 people. In the past, we've had events that we've had upwards to about 1,000 people here. The venue includes not only brand new changing rooms and bathrooms, but it also includes a grain silo for the guys to change in, which the guys absolutely love, tables and chairs for 200 people, two wagons for the use of decor. We also have a vintage farm truck that a lot of brides love to use in their photos. I've also recently had brides use that for a buffet table. The barn is unique in the way that you don't have to spend a lot in decorating it. It's already decorated with twinkle lights and beautiful chandeliers. It has lofts up above with some hay bales. The barn has a nice, clean, stained concrete floor, a vintage galvanized tin Wayne's coating and then goes up to a very beautiful stained wood backdrop. It really sets off the tone of the barn. The brides and grooms typically have their ceremonies outside the barn. There's different places that you can do that. There's expansive grounds here at the farm that you can use. Out in front of the barn is a beautiful place to have a ceremony. And we've also had a couple of brides and grooms get married underneath a couple of very old trees out front or you could have the beautiful farm fields in the background. Parking is one of our best attributes here at the barn. Parking is uh, across the street, so the cars are actually separated from any of the activity that's actually happening here at the barn. The barn at Mater Farm is a working farm, but the venue itself is always available. It's always ready for somebody to come in and have a beautiful event here. We have primarily hosted weddings here and receptions, but I would like to see a lot more corporate events and some birthdays and special events. As an event coordinator at the Barnet Mater Farm, I love this venue. Working with the Maters to make this special day happen for these people is what makes it the best job. It gives me the opportunity to work with clients to create a beautiful and unique and amazing event. I think there is a rom somewhat of a romance, but it's a tangible uh, attraction that people have because they sort of feel the kinds of people and the work ethic and who they were that built these places well over a hundred years ago. And I think that the values sort of are incorporated in these kinds of settings and people are drawn to that more traditional uh, community oriented uh, system and I, I think they hope that they can start off their marriage in that kind of a setting and we hope and we pray that there will be a blessing on them uh, with all of those things coming to bear on their marriage so that it goes very well for them.